you've got everything figured out, StreamYard sends you a message and says, hey, you're no longer connected to Facebook and YouTube and all the things. So my apologies for being late. I was sitting here 20 minutes ago, ready to go. Um, couple of quick things. I'm going to watercolor today. I've been teaching myself. I'm going to continue um, my watercolor journey with you tonight. I've had a few requests that some of you would like for me to watercolor tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the screen here in just a moment. Thank you for the hearts. I'm going to um, put this, put the camera right over here so you can see straight down on my uh, leather journals. There are a few of them available, by the way, if you are, um, hi, Karen, how have you been, friend? Um, there are a few of them still available on my website under merchandise. Thank you guys so much for being here. I um, am also making my own watercolors, um, own watercolor line in conjunction. And so I really need to play around with them. Hello, Janet. And Danielle's here and Derek's here too. Thank you for being patient with me. Like I said, here I am, I'm ready to go live. And then all of a sudden StreamYard says, hey, it's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. We're not connected to you anymore. So I spent a few minutes doing that. My apologies. And then Elijah just came home. We didn't know he was coming. So I told Matt, you stay in there. I'm just, watercolor painting. I had this request, so I'm going to continue teaching myself. And um, hi, hi, Shelly. Um, so Karen Brown, how are you, my friend? Hello, everybody. Thank you. You just got the notification. So these are the colors that we're mixing up. We've actually already changed out three of the colors. We have some empty pans and we have a watercolor line that's going to be called Iris Paints coming out in just a few weeks. I'm all set for tomorrow, Derek. Let me tell you, I'm not even nervous. I am calm and chill as a cucumber. I don't know what that means, but it was on the tip of my tongue. So I'm chill as a cucumber. Um, let me pull this up on my computer because when I flip the camera down, I will not be able to see a thing. Um, but if you've got tips for watercoloring, drop them off over here. Uh, we've been watercoloring in my creative connection. And um, I know there are a few of you, you on here that know exactly how to do this thing, and I don't. Hi, in the panhandle, thinking about y'all. Um, hello, hello. Let's tilt the camera and get started. I think that's what I'm finding, Stephanie, is that this watercolor thing is pretty relaxing. Um, I'm going to work on, yes, Crystal says she has a few tips. Thank you. Crystal did a painting for me using my watercolors the other day quite a surprise as she whipped that thing out in just a just a few minutes. Um, Diana, I'm actually working on with my own journals. Um, let me tilt this down. I have these leather. The paper is um, now I don't know if this is working. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think I may have got you wrong here. Ooh, no, oh, it's wrong. Is that better? What happened? Why are you so little? Don't drink the water. That's a I have no idea what just happened. So if I go down like this, are you going to be upside down? You are. You're going to be upside down. If I go like this, are you going to be upside down? No. So is this where we need to be? This is where we need to be. Man, just when I think I don't need help, and I told Matt, hey, he came home. Don't worry about it. We didn't know he was coming. Just stay in there. Um, boom. And that's how it's done. That's how it's done. You guys, what should we paint tonight? 
you know I'm into flowers, right? So we're probably going to get started with some flowers. Um, let me see. These books are the ones that I that I hand paint front and back. I did more of an iris look on my newest series. I do have a few available on the line on my website. And um, let me get that computer away. Let me find a page in here. And then the other day I did this one in my group and I was pretty proud of myself for doing this little landscape. Um, the paper is very thick, cotton. The only thing I didn't care for was when it dried, I felt like some of the color wasn't as intense. And let me tell you, oh, butterflies, Danielle? That's fascinating. Hmm. Okay. You know what I feel like, though? If I'm going to do butterflies, I feel like I need... I need a picture and I don't have any butterflies. I don't have any pictures around me, uh, but I love that idea. So YouTube, I don't have my mat today, which means I do not have, um, I don't have a way. Hi, Sonia. I don't have a way to read all the comments. Right before I came on here, Elijah came home and said, Hey guys. And we went, Oh, okay. He's here. So I told Matt, stay in there. So I'm just going to start with some water. I, oh, Art by Melanie. Mel, you want me to do feathers, girl? I'm going to need some more practice, not on camera before I do that. <laughs> Melanie taught at my uh, last retreat in Kansas City. And that woman is so talented. Um, and she, I did my first feathers with Melanie. And I'm still learning how to use these watercolors, even though I'm making them. <laughs> um, I'm fascinated with what the watercolor does on these pages. And as you can see, I'm a little obsessed with yellow lately. And I'm just going to settle in. I am prepping for a film crew coming here tomorrow and filming me paint on canvas, paint on a dress, paint on furniture. They mentioned my skates, they mentioned Roxy, um, and we are going to tell a visual story of why I'm painting wedding dresses and how all of that happened in the first place. I'm excited and unusually calm. <laughs> Very calm, hugs to you, Melanie, I miss you. I'm hoping that that retreat was not our only time to be around each other. She's just absolutely lovely, you all. But I have models coming, which means Madison and Julia, and maybe Olivia. And they're going to wear the dresses, and we're going to have a little fashion show outside. They mentioned a drone camera, which what do you do with a drone? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We also sent the magazine off to the printers today, you all. So all the copies are being printed this week and they'll be mailed out in the next week or so, a couple of weeks maybe. Um, Crystal, you know that if they'll let me, I'm in it. I will paint in skates. We have an outdoor studio set up um, and the dress has a five foot train. So I am just, I'm just, I'm calm. What's this about? What's this about? The producer has just been the sweetest thing. I've talked to her multiple times and I want to tell you guys all about it. If you're interested, Julia's going to take some video footage tomorrow. And um, if I'm allowed to post some of it, I will. The video, it's kind of like a pilot. It will fill, it will air on Bloom TV free for everybody to watch. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm really just playing and I'm, I've never taken like a watercolor class. So I'm really just kind of seeing what these colors do. These are the ones I've made myself with pigments. 
um, Madison is working for me now and um, it's giving her a part-time job while she's in high school. And she's a trainer, so this gives her a nice little job to do and work on her own schedule. Afternoon, Kath. They take overhead pictures, Laura. So I'm picturing me drive my me riding down the um, street in my skates with a drone overhead. I don't know. I have no idea if that's what's going to happen. But I don't really care. Like, I'm just excited. The producer says she's excited. She's going to be here at 1230. Um, you guys, Bloom TV, if you're not familiar with it, it's everything flower, floral inspired. And they have every intention this time next year being live on your television. Actually, before before this time next year, um, they're growing. They're growing really rapidly. I think that we all have this desire to learn the benefits of what flowers can do in your life, in your day to day life, not just in your home, but baking with them, cooking with them, drinking with them, decorating your home, but also putting them in your skincare and your candles and the, the therapy. I mean, I've even, I made my own paint with some of my hibiscus flowers, which was really fun. It was really fun to do that. I boiled my hibiscus flowers and then I took the pink color and kind of let it, let it set the next day. Um, oh gosh, how did I do that? I'm trying to remember what all I did. It was, it was, it was interesting. Kind of want these kind of in the background and then I'm going to do some that are closer up. And I don't know, there's probably a sequence that we should be going in. A sequence of like, you should do this first, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, here I'm here for whatever. Oh. I should probably have a paper towel. That got it to be way too, way too bright. Yikes. I don't have any paper towels handy. They look like yellow roses. Just let it dry. You guys are so helpful. I'm not very good at walking away and letting something dry. Let's just, let's just be real. I am actually really bad about that. I'm more like, let's do it all in one setting and then wish that we had more self-discipline. That's that's kind of more my jam. But I'm trying to keep things really soft and then um, frame them out with some more definition as we go. And I don't really know what I'm doing. This is the eight inch round or eight round from my Iris Pro series. It seems to work really well with the watercolors. I like the round brush. Thanks for your support, you all. Thanks for your encouragement too. Isn't it nice to have support from people, especially when you're trying something new you don't really know the direction you want to go. I'm an impatient artist. Sweet and saucy. D girlfriend, I was just talking to you about you today. I'm so glad to see you on here. I am so glad to see you on here. I was wondering how things were going. My husband actually asked about you um, too. And he said, how's she doing, by the way? And I went, you know, I haven't heard from her in a while. It's like... It's like our brains were connected today. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you on here. April, I was wondering if you're, how your magazine was going. Cause like I said, we sent our magazine off to the printers and I was wondering how your magazine was going. Um, if you don't know who that is, she 
um, is an educator mentor for, uh, she started with cookies, the most beautiful. She's been in the magazine and um, I met her standing around cookies at Jennifer Allwood's house. And April is so incredibly talented. I'm going to let the flowers dry and I'll come back to them in a minute. Uh, Betty, you are amazing. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that more than anything. It's a simple little thing that you can do. And I'm, I'm grateful when you guys share things. One share of a video can, can really help a small business. And I'm, I'm grateful for that. Uh, we have our Branson retreat coming up in October. So things are going to get a little bit weird. I probably will not be on Friday night, guys. For Friday Night Live, I will probably be just relaxing after the camera crew leaves. Um, the interview process will probably be more draining, I feel like, than the, they want me to visual, you know, tell my story and then literally tell my story um, of how the dresses came to be a thing. Why am I painting them? And that's a great question. So I'm going to try to put some answers to that. It feels so nice to be recognized, though. It feels so good to be noticed and um, asked to tell your story. I'm usually the one asking everybody else to tell their story, <laughs> which I like that place. I like to be in that space. So this will be new for me. I, I don't typically talk a whole lot about what I'm doing and um, why I'm doing things. I'm, I'm more the interviewer. I think we've got some good background going on here. Try not to muddle my colors too much. Oh, Amber, you know what? One share is beautiful and I'm thank you for that. I will take that one share. I want you guys to know that when we sent off the magazine to the printers yesterday, we found out that Texas is our number one state that supports the journal. Can anybody guess what number two state is that supports the journal subscriptions? Anybody want to guess? Texas is number one. Does anybody want to guess what the second state that supports the journal is? Oh, April, thank you. Thank you, Donna. I will. It's wonderful. That's all they needed. <laughs> Anybody want to guess? Oklahoma? No, I wish. Um, you know what, Derek? We did. Um, not Oklahoma. It's not Ontario, <laughs> but we did have more, more Canada subscriptions than I expected. Not New York. Mm, nope. California is not number two, Patty. It was in the top five, but it definitely was not Oklahoma, which was kind of sad. Made me kind of a little bit thinking what I think somebody said it, but it went really fast. Florida, guys. Whoever said Florida. It might, might have been Laura Maldonado. Florida is the number two state for the magazine. I think California may have been third, and then Oklahoma may have been fourth or fifth. But I was like, come on, Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now let's get some more. So we have the little outdoor setup outside. Uh, 
I may not sleep tonight, but I feel like I will. I feel like I'm pretty, I'm pretty calm. I think it also helps that they're not coming tomorrow until 1230 and I don't have to like get up and rush. I can just kind of chill and take in the day. Yes, Missy Yoder. I miss you. Do you know that? Do you know I miss you, hon? That's right, girl. So, Crystal, what am I? Tell me all the things I'm doing wrong. I know that you wouldn't do that. You might tell me some more things that I could do. But really, I'm not looking at a picture or anything. I'm just kind of laying down the color and just getting to know the paper, too. These are the journals that I sell. And so I want to, you know, I want to use them and get to know them as well. Kind of want to like splatter. Ooh, well, I did. I did. Is that normal? Just psh, splatter. You must be so excited and nervous. You know what, Derek? I mean, Betty, that's just what I was saying. I'm not nervous. I feel very prepared. And what's also interesting, as many live videos as I have done, I feel like edited video is so easy because it's edited. And I feel like if I mess up, I get a do-over. And when I do 90% live videos, that's oh, so much harder. So I feel like if I'm going to do edited video, that it's almost cheating. <laughs> cheating in the best way. So I don't think I'm nervous because I know everything is going to be edited. And so if I, if I say something or I want to go, you know what, can we redo that? that I have so much, con so much more control over it. And I'm not used to that. I don't, I don't usually get that opportunity. So live video is something I'm so used to. And honestly, I do prefer it. I just prefer because I can only be and say what's on my mind. I can only be when you, when you're live, how it's the right word. How am I trying to say guys, when you're live, you're not edited. So, you know, you guys know me. And it, it's authentic because I can't edit out stuff. I can't crop. <laughs> and I just feel very confident in the edited side of it because I feel like it's like cheating. Like, oh, well, if I screw up, then they're going to edit it. That's, that's cool. Cheating. <laughs> I don't know. That probably sounds silly, but that's just how I feel about it. I feel like this whole edited thing is going to be easy. I will pray over my paintings and assume, okay, I'm, I want to create something pretty here. Nothing ugly, <laughs> but it's exciting to do something you haven't done before. It's exciting to be a part of something that you've never experienced before. And, um, when they said, do you want to do this? I said, absolutely. That sounds fun. No, it wasn't on my to-do list, but sure, let's do it. That sounds nice. It sounds fun. Change things up a bit for a couple of days. I am asked that my members and my group both, you know, be patient with me because it does mean that I'm missing some training that I would normally be doing. Um, so I will, I will need some grace on that. I don't know what this is. Anybody else know? I mean, I'm having fun and it's supposed to kind of look like flowers, but right now it's not looking like that. It's just looking like blobs, but I kind of, I'm relaxed. This was exactly what, I mean, I needed to stay calm. And I think I'm working it too fast, aren't I? Like I'm going so fast that my paper's not drying and that's why everything's kind of muddling together. Y'all seeing that? Is that what you're feeling? That's what I'm feeling. Looks like flowers. Thank you. It looks like dandelions. Turn it upside down and glance at it. Okay, Donna. You guys are so supportive and, and I'm, I am thankful. Turn it upside down. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. and the room just got quiet. <laughs> I'm looking up through birch leaves. Oh, I love that. Abstract daffodils, Patty Levine, big hugs. I wish you so much fun over the next two days with your filming and photo shoots. You're such an inspiration and I'm glad that even more people will get to witness this about you through these opportunities. Thank you, Cheryl. That's such a kind thing to say and I do totally appreciate this. Um, like I was saying, 12 years I've been the turquoise iris and I've done a lot of, a lot of paintings, a lot of furniture, so many different things that I have painted. So doing something different and new that I want to say it kind of stretches me, but I'm not even sure that I feel stretched. The dresses make me feel stretched. but the camera has become something that feels very comfortable. So it's not necessarily a stretch. I'll tell you what is a stretch for me is standing up in front of people in person and being able to transmit a, mes a message. A powerful message. You know, you just don't want to waste people's time. You know, if you're going to deliver something, you want it to be something that is meaningful to them and that makes them think and doesn't waste their time. And so that stretches me more, but the dresses do kind of stretch me because I, I obviously want something to be elegant and fun at the same time. I want to take these dresses and do a fundraiser and auction them off and then donate the proceeds and then just think where would that that might take me somewhere else as well by doing a fashion show I just think that having possibilities and not limiting yourself is what life's all about so if it is inspiring to you I'm grateful to have the opportunity and time in your mind to be able to inspire you because your time is precious. I like how diluted these flowers are. I wasn't sure at first, but I'm really kind of loving, loving this. It's a very impressionist style watercolor and I'm really loving it. So let me put a little bit Let me put Thank you, Derek. I, you know, I was just trying to sell paint. And so I, the dresses do really, they do stretch me. Um, I think 
if I could go back and be a bride, I would definitely wear one of my dresses and that would be more interesting to me than the basic white dress that I wore. <laughs> I don't know that I would have had enough nerve. I know I wouldn't have had enough nerve when I was 22 and I got married to wear a dress like that. I wouldn't want to do anything different or cause anyone an opportunity to tease me or make fun of me. I just would, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Well, I'm showing on my screen that the video ended. However, I have not ended the video. So I honestly do not know if you guys are still there or not. Huh. I will go ahead and sign off just in case because it does look like we're having connection issues. So my sincere apologies, I'm gonna sit here and keep working on this. I wish you all a lovely Thursday and Friday, and we'll probably be back live on Sunday. Again, we will miss Friday Night Live. I think I'm just going to be completely spent, but I will come back on Sunday night and tell you how the filming went for the pilot, and thank you for hanging out with me tonight. It means the world. Yep, it's still on. Isn't that random? My screen actually says that it's over. It says the live video has ended. So <laughs> you'll have a good one.